Um, I'm not sure number wise, but I'm going to uh, say it out loud. Okay. So um, it says, which is the following? Which of the following is the best synthesis of cyclohexene from cyclohexane? But anyways, um, what can you all think of a uh, synthesis of going from here to here? I'll tell I'll tell you what I would do. Okay. The first step, everybody should be able to tell me this step. Can anybody tell me this one? Anybody know any reactions with alkenes? What is it? Oh, the, the BR2? BR2. What else do you need? Light. Light. Okay, and what's that going to give us? Anybody? Yeah, BR. And then to get that, what kind of reaction are we doing? Can anybody think of that? Like the name of the reaction? We're removing something, so it's a it's an elimination reaction. So what would be a good way to do maybe an E2 reaction here? Do you remember what we needed for E2 reaction? Okay, I won't look at you, no pressure. Oh, okay, yeah, so like a sterically encumbered molecule you want to do. Okay, so let's say for the solvent we'll do terbutanol, right? That would be a good one. This isn't the same as what they were doing on the thing, but I'll show you the mechanism of this, and it's the same mechanism. It's just this is going to be a little different. Now, what, what would you need? This would not actually remove it, right? This would be the solvent. What would you need to remove it? Do you remember? So it's this, but the conjugate base of it. So you need sodium terbutoxide. Okay, that's going to be the active ingredient. That, that would do it. That's the synthesis. In this one, I think they're using, instead of this, which is actually a better reagent for the elimination, they're doing uh, KOH and H2O, which would also do it. Okay? But let's um, go over the mechanism, since that's what we wanted to do. Okay? We're going to go over both of these mechanisms. So the first step, we're going to take this and we're going to take the R2 and we're going to break the bond homolytically with light to make the R dot, which is just a bromine atom, but it's a radical. And another BR dot like that. Okay. So those BR dots are very reactive, and what they'll do to try to um, make them themselves not a radical is they're going to extract hydrogens from the alkane. So what's going to happen? And I know you know these this mechanism like the back of your hand, so you don't have to write this thing down, although you could help me out if you wanted to. So we're going to get that now. Okay. We're also going to have that floating around in there because of this stuff, right? Okay. But now what's going to happen is another BR2 molecule like that. Like that. And that's going to give us our final product that we're looking for. Um, plus another VR dot. That's going to go back and do that first reaction again. Okay? So that, remember, we said was the intermediate in this reaction. Okay? So that's how you get to that, um, that uh, intermediate. Okay, I'm going to erase the first part. I know you all know that so well, so if you don't, go back to this video. It's being recorded, okay? So, 
Let's just do the second step, and we'll use uh, sodium terbutoxide since that was what was uh, that was what was said by one of the students in here. So let's let's use that one. But again, for the E2 reaction, the elimination, the KOH would do the same thing, the OH minus. Okay, so remember, we have a proton there, okay? Um, sodium terbutoxide, if you want to, just think of this as an H, okay? It'll do the same thing as hydroxide. So, like that. Yeah, I was trying to check it. No, yeah, okay. I was wondering, it must have been either it was probably off camera or maybe it was blinking that it was going to die. So that's how you do the second step. Okay, so in other words, if it was the KOH, just like in that one when we said sodium terbutoxide, we didn't show the sodium anywhere, right? If it's KOH, it would just be like that. Okay. And then the, so the uh, side product, of course, would be H2O, that one. And for the other one, if you were doing that one, it would have been terbutoxide. Okay? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Okay. Any questions on that? Wonderful. Good job, guys.